Dear friends, I would like to introduce my book, German Grammar A1 to B1. Before presenting the book, I would like to say a few words about myself. I have been a German teacher for a long time. I worked as a German teacher at the Institute of Modern Languages, Dhaka University, Bangladesh. And I was head of language department at Goethe Institute, Dhaka, Bangladesh. The book that I am going to present to you explains the whole topics of German grammar from level A1 to B1, which will make your German learning more enjoyable and meaningful all the time. But this book is not just a grammar book. It's a complete program for learning German. With the help of this book, it is possible to learn German language in its entirety on one's own because this book explains the rules of German grammar as well as other elements of language learning such as the necessary vocabulary and ways to increase the vocabulary easily and quickly. From this point of view, this book differs from other conventional grammar books and it, it is perfectly suited to meet the actual needs of the student. Now, please let me say a few words about the structure of the book, which will give you a coherent idea about the book. This book has nine parts in total. Part one is from page one to page five. In this part, the German alphabet is described and uh, which letters are used for which sounds. Some grammatical definitions such as words, sentences, kinds of words, etc. are also given in this part. Uh, proper under, uh, proper understanding of these definitions is essential for a clear understanding of various aspects of uh, grammar. Second part is from page 6 to page 39. All grammatical topics of level A1 are explained in this part. At the beginning of this part, there is a table of content from where you can get a whole picture of the part. Part three is from page 40 to page 74. All the grammatical topics of level A2 are explained in this part. There is also a table of content at the beginning of the part from where you can get a whole picture of the part. Uh, the fourth part is from page 75 to page 111. All the grammatical topics of level B1 are explained in this part. Unlike two other parts, there is also a table of content at the beginning of the part from where you can get a complete picture of the whole part. It should be noted here that there are 13 chapters in each of the three levels, A1, A2, and B1. And the 13th chapter of each level is especially important. Especially important in the sense that this chapter discusses the structure of German sentences by comparing them with the structure of English sentences based on the whole topics of grammar discussed at this level. In this regard, chapter 13 of each level is especially important. The fifth part, which is from 100, page 112 to 156, in this part, a list of, 6, 000, of uh, about 6,000 words from level A1 to B1 has been added in German English order with English meaning. 
the words are marked in a three different ways through which it is easy to see which words should be learned on a priority basis at which level. For example, words of level A1 are written in bold type. Words of level A2 are written in bold and italics type. And words of level B1 are written not in bold type but in italics type. Marking words this, this way will help increase the vocabulary easily and in a planned way. The sixth part is from page 157 to 202. In the sixth part, words of the fifth part have been arranged in the order of English German. Here, the words are also marked in different ways like the fifth part. The seventh part is from page 203 to page 220. In the seventh part, words of the three levels A1 to B1 have been arranged according to their vowel structure. That means words that have phonetic and structural similar similarities uh, such as Baden, Faren, Haven, London, etc. These kinds of words are arranged here together. This process of word sorting helps to increase vocabulary easily and quickly. Words are not found arranged this way in any conventional dictionary or grammar. From this point of view, this grammar is quite different from other conventional grammar books. This process of word sorting is explained and described at the beginning of this section. Part 8 is from 200, page 221 to page 244. This section describes the process of learning words with the help of mnemonics. As for example, we remember a group of words such as aduzo. This group of five letters help us to remember five uh, connectors like a, abar, di, den, u, und, s, zondern, o, order. In the eighth part, the words of the three levels a1, a2, and B1 are divided into different groups. Remembering one word for each group makes it easier to remember the other words of the group. This process of arranging words is described in detail at the beginning of the section. Such use of <coughs> mnemonics in learning words is not found in any conventional grammar book. The ninth part is from page 245 to page 248. In this part, a list of irregular verbs with their uh, preteritum and uh, conjunctive soi forms uh, as Dear friends, this was the presentation of my book. I hope the book will be helpful to you in learning just with this hope i end my presentation here and i thank you once again very much for your attention thank you